Hello everyone, it's Analytics Sage. Today is Monday, 26th of October 2020, and time is 1:30 in the morning <coughs> UK time. I'm going to give you an update on USD JPY. I published a video uh, 11 days ago, sorry, yeah, almost 11 days ago, and I mentioned that i'm expecting the market to come and touch 105.17 and then crash from here and then from here i will decide if i'm going to buy or not market perfectly followed my story and my scenario and let me go to the one hour chart and as you can see this is the level i mark 105.717 perfectly hit reversal but on that video I was expecting the reversal to get over and then we will see an uptrend this was something that never happened so the second part of my correction was never actually never went through and we saw a crash this crash caused me to reevaluate some of the stuff so before talking about it let me explain something because we have two models currently first of all in the two-day chart uh, I'm expecting to have a triangle in a bigger picture so we had A, B, C, D and now we are on wave E okay this is a model I can't confirm this triangle until we break the wave D or C but for now this is my assumption so in the last leg of the triangle from here to here let me turn off all the unnecessary things so fibos off okay it is better to see so the wave E I'm talking about this there are two possible scenarios for wave E and I'm going through them because one is bearish and one is bullish and it will be up to you which one you want to choose but I will explain you both so what happened here we had a We had a wave A or W, then we have a triangle A, B, C, D, and E, and then we had the last leg of the correction, okay, here, which was A, B, and then wave C, and the wave C is also composed of A, a triangle, and then C. So, so far, the dimensionality wise, everything makes sense for this uh, correction to be over as you can see here we had w we had the w we had the triangle a b c d e, and e and the market finished perfectly at the first fibo target so uh, we saw uh, we observed a reversal here and also this leg of the correction this a b and c is over in my opinion now what we observed was an impulsive wave which suggests the wave e is over and probably we will see an uptrend so this is an impulsive wave and that's uh, the uh, actually the main reason i'm considering an uptrend so we have a complete impulsive wave and now we are on an ABC correction. So we had the first A, B, C. The correction is quite deep, which is expected for the wave one. But the question is that, is this correction over or not? In my opinion, it should be over. Let's go to the one hour chart. It should be over. This is not impulsive. We can't, but I'm waiting for this uh, actually to unfold more. One way to trade this market is to have a buy order here. Sorry, this is the buy order. This is the 104.98. So if it breaks, we can expect a, a very fast uptrend. And the only way to justify it is to consider this as a leading diagonal. I'm not a fan of actually using leading diagonals much, but for now, this is the model I'm considering. We had a leading diagonal, and then we had an ABC correction. 
sorry it doesn't draw we have an abc correction and then an uptrend all the way the best way is to confirm it to wait for 104.98 to get broken so i'm personally going to have a buy order here and i will keep you update to see how my prediction will go Oh, and I will post another video hopefully soon. Uh, have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the video.